Hey there YouTube, welcome to the Smelly Telly. Today we're going to be learning Day Tripper by the Beatles. This is a really cool song, it's actually one of the first songs I ever learned, so I'm pretty excited to teach it to you guys today. Let's jump into it. Alright, Day Tripper. So there's uh, two main riffs to this song, some chords that you got to know in order to get from the main riffs to the guitar solo, and then we'll go through the guitar solo. For a beginner it might be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, advanced players, this guitar solo is something you should pick up real quick. So let's start with the main riff. That sounds like this. Okay, and that just keeps repeating. So once he finishes the lick there, he just plays it again. So to play that, you're going to play your open E string, uh, third fret of your open E, fourth fret of your open E, 2nd fret of your A string, 2nd fret of your D string, 5th fret of the A string, 2nd fret of the A string, 4th fret of your D string, 2nd fret of your A string, 5th fret of the A string, 2nd fret of your D string. So let's put all that together nice and slow. One, two, Three, four. Okay, great. So the next lick is exactly the same fingering as the first lick but instead of starting on your low E string uh, or the E chord in this song you are just going to start on the A string to get to the A chord of this song so now same lick just play it on your A string so you go open A third fret fourth fret of that open A second fret of your D string second fret of your G string 5th fret, D string, 2nd fret, D string, 4th fret, G string, 2nd fret, D string, take it up to the 5th fret, and then go to the G string, 2nd fret. Nice and slow, 2, 3, 4. And then after that, he'll play the uh, the o the o the e the e uh, lick again. And then he's gonna play an F sharp chord. And he just strums that in the background. Uh, I think John Lennon plays it like this in the background. And you'll hear George, he's got a little bit more of a mute, a little bit more attack going when he plays these chords. Okay, after that chord, you play a A7 chord. And there's two seven notes here. It's the seventh on your D string and the seventh on your B string. You'll notice they're octaves. Same strumming style for John Lennon and for George Harrison. John's got the that up down up down picking. George takes more of an attack with a mute going. And then it drops down to a G sharp 7 chord. Then you're going to play a C sharp. Normally your C sharp you would play your root note here. Uh, but on the records, they add the low E note 4th fret here on the C sharp chord. Gives it a little bit of a deeper feel. And then they drop that same shape down to a B 
and he also adds the second fret of the low E string here like before on the C. And John Lennon will play that in the background and keep it going for the guitar solo. And the solo you're going to play over the top, you're going to start at the 7th fret of your low E string, 5th fret of your A string, 6th fret A string, 2nd fret, 4th uh, fret D string, 4th fret G string, 7th fret D string, 4th fret D string, 6th fret G string, 4th fret D string, 7th fret D string, 4th fret G string. And you're going to repeat that lick three times. Let's play it nice and slow so you can get the hang of it. Two, three, four. Okay, then after you play that like three times, you're going to hear uh, them come in with the ahs where it just kind of keeps rising uh, and behind that is the guitar solo. So you're going to hear ah, and in the background you'll hear this lick. So to play those three parts, we're going to start on the B string, 5th fret, slide it down to your 3rd fret, play the 4th fret of your G string, 3rd fret B string, 5th fret B string, play it again and bend the note up, 5th fret E string, and you're going to hold that a while and kind of at the last moment you're going to play this pre-bent fifth fret B string and bring it down just release that bend and it's a quick release so that goes like this two three four two three four Two, three, four. Two, three, four. To play the second part of this guitar solo, you're going to start here on the 12th fret of your B string. That's going to sound like this. So that's your 12th fret B string twice. 15th fret B string. Go back down to the 12th fret. Back up to the 15, 12th fret of your E string. You're going to bend it, bend it back down, release it. 15th fret, B string, down to the 12th fret. So let's play it all together. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, and then the last piece, he's just gonna play a B chord here. It's gonna not be the whole chord. You're just gonna play the bottom four notes. And you're gonna add the seventh fret, uh, the seventh of the chord here. It's your 10th fret B string. Okay, and just play that in the background. And now we're back to the main riff.
So let's put the entire thing together. I'm going to start with four of the main riff on the E string. We'll play one of the A string. Then we'll go back to one of the E string. And then we'll play the chords starting on that F minor chord behind the chorus. We'll jump up to the A chord. Go down to the G sharp chord. Remember these are both seventh chords. And then the C chord with an A flat bass. And a B chord with a F sharp bass. Then we'll play the solo starting on the seventh fret of E string. We'll play that three times and then we'll play the guitar solo. Okay, we'll play that slow and then we'll take it once full speed. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, those are all the parts to Day Tripper. Go ahead and listen to the recording by the Beatles. You can take all these parts, put it all together, and get through the entire song once you start listening to the whole thing. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Hope you learned something today. If you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Every time you subscribe, it helps me make more videos for you. So please remember to subscribe. Also pop over to thesmellytelly.com. I got more guitar lessons for you there. We'll see you next time. Take care.